Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're talking about Sandal Crow, ticker symbol SNDL. We're going to cover what happened today, why we had such a big drop, and we're going to cover about what I think the price is going to do in the next few days. But if you watch this video and happen to find it um, and enjoy it and find it helpful, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. We're almost 800 subscribers now, so thank you very much for your support. I'm trying to reach a thousand by the end of this month, if possible. So any help and support is appreciated. You know, I always love when you guys give me support like this. Other than that, we'll get straight into the video. So, you know, we're looking at SNDL today and it closed our market price of 1.13. Now, the reason why, you know, this is I, if you guys see here, I did put out something similar to this um, to this price movement. I said that there was two kind of possibilities coming into the market right now, whether we are holding at the 1.15, which is the line given out here, and you know bounces up before making the double bottom, or whether we're going kind of going down um, to to maybe the one um, dollar price range. Something that um, everyone should bear in mind is that the reason why obviously this is um, happening is because of people understanding that there is going to be um, a sale soon of the stock, which will dilute shares, you know, and just kind of people with uncertainty. The whole market overall, you know, also pulled back um, heavily today. So this is just kind of something we do see. You know, S and D R wasn't the only stock which had a heavy fall in the market today. A lot of the big stocks also had um, a massive fall. So this is something you know we should be um, expecting. However, the good news is I have marked out the whole time that. Really, I think the area of support here is 1.1 to 1.15. I think within this area, it's the support. I mean, it's not just one area where it's the 1.15 or the 1.1. I think everywhere within this area is kind of the support. And so we need to really see how it ends up here. If it close below 1.1, I do think that we have um, a very high possibility to reach this uh, $1 mark. You know, again, people kind of are selling their shares because they don't want to dilute. They think that. You know, a lot of people are in understanding now that due to obviously their um, stock sales, they they think that S and DL would um, pull back and tank even more so that they're able to get in S and DL at a cheaper price. And so, you know, along with the obviously the stock sale and with this sentiment, this causes S and DL to drop even more. You know, we can look in kind of into the hour graph here, and we can see how it kind of reacted. You can see that overall, it really it was actually supporting. You know, it had resistance. Um, up here, so I'll make a line for kind of how it happening right now. So obviously we can see some resistance up here at 1.26. We also saw some support really um, throughout the day at around the area of 1.19. Before you can see finally breaking through, you can see that you know it had. Um, you can see the line up here. You can see and you can see that right now there's a huge wick above, meaning that they did try to get back up again. And this is what I mean by how important it is to see when a stock closes below a certain level. You can see the stock close below here, and obviously people weren't happy with that, so they tried to drag it back. But then you can see again that the seller did want the stock to end um, below the 1.19 level, and over and eventually you can see that it just tanked all the way down. So again, this is why I, you know, always stress out that there is an importance of understanding that if a stock were to end below or above a level, it normally gives a great significance in terms of how that stock will play out due to the fact that it kind of shows whether there's buyers or more sellers in this stock. And again, you can see that obviously when it did close below here, we saw a huge amount of sellers, eventually closing below this 1.15 resistance, closing on the market price of 1.13. So really it came in at the last hour, but that just means that you know there are still um, a lot of sellers coming into this. There could be you know a, a lot of short sellers as well, so we do have to watch out for that. And you know, ultimately we couldn't hold this 1.19 level. But what you know, what do I think is gonna happen next? Well, really we have to see how it reacts within this kind of uh, 1.1 to 1.15. We could see some kind of um, consolidation in between the level before breaking out either way. You know, again, this is really, um, at times like this, it comes down to really just the market sentiment. You know, the overall market will also play a huge part. So if, you know, the overall market such as S&P will fall over the next few days, then stocks such as S&DL, which are kind of speculative stocks, will also fall, you know, for the next few days as long as S&P falls. But if S&P were to rise, you know, we will see more optimism in terms of the stock market and that will cause, you know, more buyers to come into stocks and one of them could potentially be S&TL. And so, you know, right now we're looking at how market sentiment is working. And so we want to see how it reacts within this 1.1 to 1.15 level. 
no, we, we can go back into the day graph again now and kind of just talk about what um, what we are waiting for. But essentially, we're waiting for how it closes, um, you know, within this level, how it um, works. And um, our next step is waiting for whether the price of tomorrow will close kind of above 1.15 that and that will sign uh, signify that we could see um, more buys coming in now we could see that there are actually strong amount of buys down here indicating that this level is actually a very good volume to um, for buyers you can see that for the last uh, few times the actual body of the candle never ended below there you can see that it's a very long wick and so you know if it were to close above this level it would show really um, a great significance but what does it mean if it closes again within this 1.15 to 1.1? Well, if it, if it does that, then it is potential that we are going to stagnate between this level. We're going to consolidate before seeing kind of whether there's going to be a large surge of sellers coming in or whether there's going to be a large amount of buyers coming in. And finally, for the third kind of possibility of if it were to close below 1.1, then we could be seeing, you know, this um, for the time being that there will be sellers coming in. Once again, you know, SNDR at one point did reach to the low of 0.93 before you know having a massive reversal. So you know stock like SNDR is very volatile. So this is something we should be expecting. And even if it does end at 0.93, again it might be another opportunity to dip by like last time. So these are what you know if the three things were to happen. I'm gonna list and that's I'm just listing out the possibilities and what kind of each thing signifies in terms of how SNDR will play out. But yeah, guys, that is it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, make sure to press that like and subscribe button. Comment down below what you guys think about SNDL. And you know, in my videos, I always try and give out knowledge that I can help you guys with, whether it's just SNDL or just general in the stock market. Anyway, guys, enjoy your day.